Hey there everyone, Hitesh here back again with another video and in this video, I want to talk about an incident. This incident recently happened to one of my students who went into a startup for the interview of a front-end developer. Although this specific topic of front-end developer was not mentioned in the email, so I'm just assuming it based on the context, but you're gonna learn a lot in this video about what is the scenario of working at a startup, front-end development, Photoshop, Adobe XD and couple of more stuff as well. As well as I'm gonna try to give you some of the hints and tips uh, about the job interview aspects as well. So this video is totally dedicated for all the students who are into college right now or are seeking for their very first job. For all those people who are already working at a company or have passed this phase, this video is not for you. So let's get started. Before we even begin to start reading this email, I want to mention that this student is being touched with me for a long time through the email conversation. I'm highly active on my Facebook page as well. So he messaged me quite a lot on my Facebook page as well as comment on my video. That's why I just remember his name and he, he talks quite a lot, interact quite a lot with me. So that's why it was really easy for me to pick up his email and talk about this particular situation. Now let's go ahead and first read this very interesting incident about the startup job interview. So this is the email and once I read the email, I'll point out some of the things you can underline here. So today I gave interview in one of the startup company. They say if you don't know Photoshop, then you cannot deal with a client. How can you show website design? And I said Adobe XD and I'm learning it. They said I'm from another planet. Is this right, sir? And my question is, can I edit photos in photo Adobe XD? Now, a few points you can underline here right now is startup company, Photoshop, website design, Adobe XD. So now let's go ahead and first of all, move on. Now, first of all, answering to your question, no, you cannot edit your photos in Adobe XD. Adobe XD and Sketch are completely different thing. They were never meant to edit the photos, okay? Now clearing this up, this is not just the whole answer for your question. Now let's discuss a little bit about your situation as well as the situation of this company as well, whatever that company is. Before we even talk about this company, let's move on and talk about interviews in general. Now interviews can be sometimes a little bit harsh and the person who is taking the interview can say some of the mean stuff to you. I highly recommend to be prepared uh, according to that. So prepare your mind according to that, that yes, some interviewer can be absolutely mean to you and that's okay, that's fine. And I would also like to mention that it's gonna be less humiliating as compared to your college viva. Now, yes, I, although I really appreciate that uh, some people really think that yes, we were at one point of time, uh, just beginners like who is sitting in front of us and they give equal amount of respect to them. If they want to say no, they just clearly mention that no, we don't want to hire you and that's okay. But some people like to be mean and you cannot just change the whole world. They're, they are going to remain like that. So make sure you are prepared that some people can be absolutely terrifyingly mean to you and you're ready for that. Now moving on to the point where we are saying that uh, these are the couple of points which I mentioned to underline. First of all, it's a startup company. Now, when you are applying on a startup, then I hope you everybody knows that you will have a lot of responsibilities on your shoulders. It's not gonna be just like you will be getting hired for a website design front end, or probably just back end, or probably UX UI design, because startups cannot afford much of the people. So they like to put a lot of responsibilities on a very less number of people. Probably your front end designer is gonna be handling your uh, UI UX part as well, the front end part as well, maybe a lot of back end part as well, as well as the client interaction as well. So depend on what kind of scale uh, the startup is growing. So you might have a lot of responsibilities and probably the interviewer here is trying to give or seek a person who can handle his clients, uh, UI UX part, the website design, interaction with the client, might be some of the database part as well. So again, if you are not ready for that kind of stuff, obviously you should not apply for these kind of specific startup as well. But not, uh, we cannot simply say that uh, we cannot judge all the startup based on this. Some startup are really uh, like, they do understand that for every aspect of this type of work, there is different person meant for that and there should be different jobs for that. Now, as I always say, the more technologies you're gonna have under your belt, it's gonna be easier for you to get hired. But again, uh, 
rejecting any person based on that, hey, uh, you don't know Photoshop and you know you're trying to learn Adobe XD. Uh, I don't think so it's a good valid point to judge anybody because if you want somebody who can work on Photoshop and Illustrator, uh, probably you're looking for a designer, not a programmer because usually programmers plays a different part. If you can get like who can do both of the work, that's marvelous, that's amazing. Uh, but again, these are two different kind of people, designers and programmers. Just onto the sideline, there is another question waiting for us in this particular contest, which is, uh, is Photoshop enough or you should be learning Adobe XD or not? And if you are learning Adobe XD, are you from another planet or not? Now, I would be saying, hey, what, what you are talking about in here? If Photoshop could have done all the job which were meant for Adobe XD, Adobe is not at all an idiot who would be launching another product just to compete with Photoshop. No, Adobe is a really smart company. There are a lot of tasks that were meant to be done by Sketch and Adobe XD. And Adobe saw that and they realized that Photoshop is really an overkill thing for these kinds of stuff like website designs, app design and all these stuff. So that's why they, they have launched a separate product and it's not the fault of the person who is giving interview to you uh, that he's aware about these tech stuff like Sketch and Adobe XD and you don't know about that, you're still living just on Photoshop. Now this doesn't mean I'm saying that Photoshop cannot do website design and all these stuff. Yes, it plays its very vital and crucial role in that but now industry is shifting towards Sketch and Adobe XD for website design and app design because it saves a lot of time for everybody. So that's why it's doing it. So all I want to say to this person is, first of all, don't get disheartened. Interviews can be sometimes mean and I have seen a lot of them. Yes, they are mean. But on top of that, there is nothing to be disheartened here. At least you have learned one more thing that how it can happen. So nothing is there to lose. You only have gained one thing which is known as experience. So don't get disheartened, work a little bit harder, build more of your portfolio and remember what you have done, most of the people haven't done that. Most of the people are still on, even on the learning phase, they are thinking about to learn. You are really advanced as compared to them. You have learned the things, you have prepared your portfolio and you have even given your very first interview. That means a lot. So don't get disheartened if somebody couldn't understand you. Just go ahead, move on, apply for more companies and I'm pretty sure, pretty sure that you're gonna nail down to this interview what is coming up afterwards. Okay, so let's just summarize quickly the video what points we have learned here. The number one point we have learned, it's amazing that you have went out and have given your interview. That means you have learned something, you have prepared your portfolio and you have given your very first interview. So congratulations on that. A lot of people just fail even to do that. So we have learned that it's better always to go out and get interview and learn more things. The second point that you have learned that yes, if you are looking forward for the front end design, things like uh, Adobe XD and Photoshop are really important. I'm not saying you probably always should learn Photoshop, but a few basics are okay, but don't listen to that interview on this particular point. Go ahead, keep going with Adobe XD or Sketch. It's really amazing, it's useful, and I'm pretty sure that somebody would appreciate this knowledge. And the third and the most important thing that we have learned here is don't ever, ever get disheartened with these kinds of mean words that people just say in the interviews. Yes, it is uh, less humiliating as compared to the college vivas and some of you might be getting connected with me there. But anyways, regardless of that, don't ever get disheartened there. Today probably might not be your day, but it's gonna come up very soon. So keep going, keep giving this interviews and I'm pretty sure you're gonna send me an email very soon that yes, I got my very first job. So that's it for this video. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up in case you have enjoyed it and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I'll surely catch you up in the next video. I ain't a man that you can